Hello folks. Well, many of you longtime subscribers know that I was in the Marine Corps for 33 years and I was out on the USS Midway in 1976 with a detachment of our RF-4B Phantoms from El Toro, California. Well, the RF-4B Phantom was only a photo bird, but it was the fastest and we took lots of IR pictures with it in Vietnam. And many of you also know that I made my own catapults to launch RC aircraft and have many videos of that happening, including one miniature one, all inspired by my tour on the Midway. Well, I watched night flying also for the first time while I was on the carrier, and that inspired me to begin night flying RC airplanes and helicopters, and eventually writing the very first article ever on the subject in the magazines. But always in the back of my mind, I wanted to have my own boat and fly a Phantom or something off of it. Well, I finally found a boat that I like. It's an old Rinker bow rider ski boat. It can move along pretty good at 35 knots into the wind, and I figured, hey, I actually have a Phantom, my DJI quadcopter, that is. So it's a nice day. I decided I'd go out and try and fulfill my dream of actually trying to do this. My considerations were that it was going to be risky, due to the fact that I'll be trying to take off and land on a pitching deck with 35 mile an hour headwinds as we're moving along and while standing on the pitching deck trying to balance myself and being able to take off and land. I figured I probably could take off alright but landing's going to be harder. If it slides off the deck it's going to be in a drink going in upside down or sideways and that will defeat the floats and the electronics are going to be immediately ruined just like the real thing. On our Phantom Jets, the carrier alignment system, the canes, would sometimes take 30 minutes just to get the gyros in the inertial navigation systems on the Phantoms to actually settle down and align. Well, all I can do is try and hope I can fly with no mistakes. I'm not using GPS or anything. So, as we head out to the arena at Silver Lake here in Lake Park, Iowa, what could go wrong?